Hi, I am Steve Hoy, and I'm going to be talking about the representation of gender in my short film for AS Media. The film is called Locked, and it is about... It opens with a man trapped inside of a very confined room. One of the first things that you'll notice when you watch it and you, you think about the representations is that he's a male character, but he's the one who is vulnerable, he's the one that's trapped. And typically, in many Hollywood films, the main character that we're introduced to is the person who is the hero, and he's the one that is invulnerable, which is typically in you know, poorly written films where the, the hero is, isn't represented as vulnerable. What my film attempts to do is throw all that out the window, presenting a vulnerable male character. The camera work kind of highlights this. Up close, we're, sh we're getting a lot of um, mixed emotions from him. He's very scared. He's obviously very traumatised about what he's discovered. You know, reading this note in the room and thinking, who's put me in here? He's actually the only character in the film in the two-minute version. The two-minute version is the one that I'll send away to the examiner. The longer version shows that there is a secondary character. The secondary character is actually the main character. If this was going to be a full film, he would be the main character. This is Oscar, played by Kai Bulls. He challenges the normal hero, the normal male hero, because he's he's more of an anti-hero. But it kind of supports a lot of male stereotypes is that in that he's quite violent. He is um, completely relentless. He's ruthless. Uh, he's dark and twisted. Later on, we find out that this character who's imprisoned this man interrogating him is actually looking for his partner and what this does is it supports theorist props theory about there being certain types of characters in many films now these are the hero the villain the donor the dispatcher the helper and the princess and the female character in my film would be considered the princess or the prize because she is the one who the main character is trying to find. It doesn't really challenge this in any way, but what it does do is it challenges a typical male role seen as the weak character who is very quickly killed off in the long version by the main character, actually. And that's really all I have to say about the representations of gender in my short film. Uh, thank you for watching this.